Hello, this is a quick tutorial on what to do when you're importing a 3D model from Elden Ring um, or Dark Souls 3 or Sekiro into Blender. So, first thing you want to do is go to your game files, go to character. Um, well, make sure you have the game on path first. Um, if you don't know anything about that, I suggest you watch some of the more beginner videos. But make sure your game's on path, go to character. Pick a character you want. I know Blight's 2010. So I'm going to use Yapper or Witchy BND. These will all be linked in the description. Going to open that up and you'll see something called a dot FLBER. Um, called a flipper or a fiber or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I'm going to use, again, I'll link it below. But I'm going to use something called Aqua Model Tools. I'll show you what it looks like on their page. This is Aqua Model Tools. You don't have to download this. Do not download here. Go to Releases, click here, and install the zip. And I'm, uh, decompress that zip. After you finish that, and you have the flipper ready to go, Open uh, Aqua Model Tools folder. I have mine right here. And scroll down to Souls Model Tool.exe and just drag it onto that. If you wait a little while, it will spit out an FBX. Open up Blender. You can also use any 3D program that supports FBX files, but Blender is the best in my opinion, and it's free. So, I don't see if I, I don't see a reason to use anything else. Delete the square cube. Import. Go to FBX. And then go to uh, where you just had that flipper. For me, that is where the game is located. Live folders. So there it is right there. Don't worry about this right now. Just import it. It will take a little while. And then you're going to see this mess right here. Don't freak out. This is just the skeleton. You have the skeleton right here, which is all these bones or shapes. And then if you want to hide this mess, it's the first thing up here on the top right. Just click the eyeball, and there's the actual mesh, and we applied in Blender. Um, he's not going to have any materials or textures until you assign them to him, because Blender obviously doesn't know where or how to use the materials and textures. Um, but there you go, you got the 3D model, and if you want to mess with it, you can. Looks like Blight has zero you know, fifteen meshes. You can move them at will. You know, do whatever you want. And then whenever you're done, this is important. Um, actually, I'm going to go into that in another video. But this is how you get an Ultimate model into Blender.